guys, my name is Dan Lewis. I'm from Cheltenham in England and in this lesson today I'm going to teach you about rumba flamenco strumming and a little bit about the chord progressions as well. And I'm going to teach you about um, uh, a little passage from a song by Alvin Tufali called Gratitude which involves everything I'm going to teach you in the bit before in the lesson plus a little bit more. Now the pattern in order to get um, Remember, flamenco strumming involves only the technique used on the right hand, and um, I'll show you at first with uh, muted strings. So you know you can't, I can't hear any of this sound ringing out here. So um, there's two, there's two basic uh, patterns you need to learn, and uh, the first, the first one uh, is slightly shorter than the other. It involves you go down with the thumb across all the strings, and then up with the thumb. So you go down and up with the thumb. And then, uh, followed by that, you once you've brought this thumb up, it's important that you bring all your other fingers up with it, so you're on top of the strings. And then you go down with, with all your fingers, ideally. Some people use just the middle finger, or just this finger, it doesn't really matter. And then up with the thumb, follow it, so you've got that slowly once again. So that's the first part. And you need to practice that slowly so you get it right, because this is important. And so you go down, up, down with the fingers, up with the thumb. This is followed by slapping the guitar bottom like this. So it's important that you do this slowly and until you get it fluid. So. part, you then go up with these um, the fingers and then down with the fingers. So you go up, just down and up with the fingers and then up with the thumb. So that's it, just. And then after you've done that, that's the second part, just completely done now. So you put these two together and fluid them, fluid them up. So you go The second passage after after the uh, guitar slap is faster. So. That's it. That's all you need to learn. The way to remember that is by thinking down, up, down, slap, up, down, up. And then once you've got that covered. Then you can just practice it slowly up until you can get it quick. So down, up, down, slap, up, down, up, slap. And then just remembering which part to use is also equally as important, obviously. Just the thumb and the fingers, just two different parts that you need to differentiate between. Now that you know what to do with your right hand, I think we'll put something, put some chords into it. Now this is the basic rumba flamenco chord progression, which is basically very the very basics of flamenco. Now we're going to use the strumming pattern over these chords. It starts with A minor, which is used as a bar chord in, in this instance. It then modulates to G major, then goes to F major, and then F dominant seven. Finishes in E major. So I'll say that again. That's A minor, G major, F major, F dominant seven, and E major. Now, one thing flamenco guitarists often do is instead of playing an E major chord like this, when they're doing a rumba flamenco, uh, instead of using this fingering they'll use it so they don't use their first finger. And that's because when you're doing all these bar chords, these are the fingers you would usually use in a major chord to take, take away the bar on the um, index finger. And this is what you'd have so that it doesn't break, so, when you're, so it doesn't take as much movement 
and the chords can be more fluid because obviously you're pretty much you're strumming you're strumming non-stop. Um, this will hear you might it might be slightly more difficult and you might hear a bit more string noise. Whereas this this method prevents it. Now the one thing you want to remember is you're doing group, groupings of four and groupings of seven when you're strumming. So you want to go down. Throughout the chords, so I'll do I'll do I'll do the whole progression at the speed once through. And there you go. Okay, now that we're done with that, I think I'm going to teach you the bit from uh, Armin Tufani's Gratitude. Now the chords are exactly the same as the standard rumba flamenco progression I just showed you, which is of course A minor, G major, F major, F dominant seven for one measure, and then E major. So then once you've gone, you've started in A minor, and then you've gone to the dominant, and then finished in the dominant. And so um, basically, it's all the same. It's a slightly faster pace, so you need to. Um, so you need to bring your arm into finally plays it up here. These runs up here on the neck, as opposed to back here, which makes it slightly quick, uh, easier for slapping the guitar body and for and for strumming quicker across the strings. And basically, um, because we're doing groups of groupings of four and then groupings of seven. Um, after we've done the grouping of four, we move on. But the grouping of seven, we use notes from the E Phrygian major scale, or the A harmonic minor scale, but they both modulate modally, so don't worry about that. And so after we're on the A minor, we then go and we play C and B on top of it, but we use our index finger to mute all the strings apart from the high E string. So this this first part goes. It then moves to G major, next chord, and then we do uh, B and A. Goes to F major, and we play A and G sharp, and then E major. We finish in the dominant key, and uh, we stay on the same uh, dominant chord with no notes attached. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope you learned a little bit about rumba flamenco, and uh, thanks for watching. See you.